The ICIC was initially formed to really take a new approach to revitalizing economically distressed or underperforming urban areas in America. So we created ICCC as a vehicle to uh, gather companies in these urban communities and try to equip them with the skills and the uh, preconditions necessary to actually raise real capital, but also to recruit capital providers to this idea and this opportunity. By coming here and spending a day, they're going to walk away uh, with some knowledge that they wouldn't otherwise have about how to get equity capital and how to get debt capital and what's required and, and how to, to do a better job of marketing the business and how to create strategy. And then in terms of the, the communities, um, you know, when you look at what makes the community grow, yes, we've got big businesses that, that, that create jobs. But our ability as, um, as a community and really as a nation to grow jobs are, is going to continue to depend on small business people. We own uh, Magic City Sweet Ice and we started um, about a year ago with a push cart doing the different events around town. Um, we started off with the Woodlawn uh, Street Market and we've done a, a number of events. Uh, and then we opened our first brick and mortar um, this spring, April. Um, so we just cel celebrated four months um, in West Homewood over in that area as it's kind of developing um, we're kind of part of that revitalization of that area. But there's also a lack of information on how to access resources on starting something or getting things going. And if you don't know the right contact or you don't have the right people to, you know, to help you out, you're stuck and then you kind of just let go of dreams that you may have. Continued education is extremely important um, because as you're reaching different stages, the business is, um, you know, experiencing different challenges. Fourth Avenue Supermarket was founded in 1951 by my grandfather. Um, we serve uh, lower income areas as well as middle class consumers. So I guess my favorite was, uh, was Professor Rogers. Really connected with him and, and appreciated his advice that he gave me after the seminar. I want these entrepreneurs, these business owners to understand that they have the opportunity to be something bigger and better than what they are today. Every entrepreneur knows the importance of finance in the sense of, I need more money. But understanding the financial fundamentals, the practical tools that one can use to grow the company is something essential for all entrepreneurs to take ownership of. Passion is not enough. Entrepreneurial success won't just come from passion and hard work. It also comes from knowing what you're doing. It's way more than I expected. It's very, very enlightening. This is one way to help you know, economy, the economy grow since mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest things for uh, the, re the revitalization of Birmingham as a whole. We really engage. It's like this, there's this hunger for this knowledge. So I'm very excited about it. You can hear the buzz from downstairs. I appreciate Regions providing me with this opportunity because it's going to allow me to grow my business. And as my business grows, that will in turn grow Regions business with me and with everyone else. It's a great multiplier effect. We believe strongly in, in not only being a part of the community, but, but really helping to, to shape the, the direction because we're bringing increased financial literacy, increased financial knowledge to, to business owners that in turn helps them do a better job of growing their businesses and that is really what economic development is, is all about. And so it's, it's, it's really about getting aspirations up and then equipping people with tools and concepts but also with relationships. Regions is very dedicated as a company to the notion of shared value and what more powerful way of de deploying capital and working with small business can there be than working with the small businesses in the company, in the communities with the greatest need.